Hola, hombres. Welcome to Beer O'Clock. Um, and I'm here to share a cautionary tale. And that caution is about being red pill, about taking the red pill. I'm sure that anybody who's heard that terminology is aware of where red pill comes from. At least the first time I became aware of it, and I'm assuming this was the origin of it, which is, of course, the Matrix movie, which came out, I don't know, 20 years ago or late 90s, whenever it was. It's been a while. And in the, uh, in the movie, Morpheus and Nemo are sitting there and they're bantering back and forth and ultimately Morpheus opens up his hands and he's in one he's got a blue pill and in the other he's got a red pill. And he forewarns Nemo that uh, you take the blue pill, you go back to the way things always have been, you go back to status quo, nothing changes and you get on with your life. If you take the red pill, well, then you go down the rabbit hole and you wake up and things are very different. And so, of course, uh, the movie would not have been a movie if Nemo had not taken the red pill. And hence, we have stolen the idea of red pill. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot as far as it goes. Now, in the Manosphere... We mince channels, stuff like that. We take the red pill and we assume it wakes us up to the reality of women. And I quite frankly disagree with that concept of the red pill. Remember in the movie, it wasn't a single area of Nemo's life that changed. He woke up in another dimension. Everything, everything was different. He realized everything that he had ever known, believed in, held to be true, held to be important, was gone. Now, he knew all along that something wasn't right, but he didn't wake up to a single fact. He woke up to everything had been an illusion. See, red pilling isn't just about finding out about the truth of relationships between men and women and how we have been sold a bill of goods. Red pilling, in my estimation, is the tearing down of dogmas. And a dogma is just a long-held, hardcore belief that usually you didn't come up with. It was force-fed you throughout your life, from childhood to uh, young you know, adolescence, young adulthood, and so forth. And quite frankly, uh, most people will go to their graves with the dogma. It just so happens that in the manosphere, we primarily talk about relationships between men and women. But here's, here's what I want to point out. There isn't a red pill. Quite frankly, there's not even a bottle of red pills. There is an infinite pharmacy of red pills. And here is where people just need to wake up and be aware of this fact. Not everybody is going to take the red pill. Not only are they not going to take it, I don't think they're capable of taking it. Because when you tear down a dogma it unleashes a whole host of other issues. Because after one red pill, there's another one. Because that dogma was built on a foundation of another dogma, which is built upon the foundation of another dogma, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. And I'm not sure there is an end to it all. But once you take the red pill, now for me, my red pill moment didn't come with understanding the sickness in, in the relationship that I had in my past marriage. Mine actually came through more of a political realm when I had to wake up and realize that, um, you know, 
there is no left, there is no right, blah, blah, blah. It's just, you know, we're all, we're just being sold a bill of goods. But I, that's not what I'm here for, and that's not what I'm going to talk about. Red pilling tears down not one dogma, it leeches over into tearing down other dogmas, and is a domino effect, and it can be extremely overwhelming. It can put you into an emotional, spiritual, and even a physical tailspin. Because so much of what we have believed that we held to be true turns out to be false. And once one thing's false, and we find out it wasn't even a lie, it was dogma. It was something that was taught to you because the generation prior to that had it taught to them. And the generation prior to that had it taught to them. And you see where I'm going. Just keep following it back as far as you need to until you realize this shit's been around a long time. You know, I hear a lot of younger guys uh, kind of blaming the boomers for this. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? We didn't make this shit up. We just bought into it like you guys did. And like my parents did. And like those parents before them. This... This has been going on a long time. So what, what is the dogma? Well, the dogma is, and what, excuse me, why do we have the dogma? Well, dogma doesn't just fall out of the sky. Dogma is a set of rules and regulations, a uh, set of hardcore beliefs that have worked in the past. That's why so many people came to believe it, because it worked. There's dogmas about everything. And the reason most people hang on to these dogmas, unless they're really firmly held beliefs, like how relationships are supposed to be and what we believe them to be, or about our uh, maybe political views or about our spiritual views, most dogmas kind of come and go. You know, I mean, you meet the guy who's, uh, you know, been a Chevy guy because his dad was a Chevy guy and grandpa was a Chevy guy and all of a sudden he stumbles across this fantastic Ford truck that he can't live without and now he's a Ford guy. Well, he broke a family dogma. Big deal. He just changed it. Nobody thinks twice about that. But when it comes to more deeply held beliefs such as this is how women are, this is how men are, these become very firmly entrenched dogmas and people will preach that stuff as if they're preaching about a god all right now one of the warnings about becoming red pill is not only will it, it'll put your head in a swim and you will start to really have trouble with other people not that you'll be mean to them and not that they're going to be mean to you but it'll it'll be hard to swallow hanging around with people with certain beliefs they hold on to these things they cling to these son of a guns as if it's a life raft because for them in this crazy world it is a life raft it doesn't matter that the life raft has never been inflated it's kind of like at first it's like meeting a small child who still believes in Santa Claus. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of cute. It really is kind of cute. And then, you know, but if you were to meet somebody who's an adult, you would say, there's something really wrong with this 20, 30, 40-year-old man who still believes in Santa Claus. You would expect that they would uh, probably have some kind of learning disability. But you wouldn't want to be their friend. And you certainly want to, wouldn't want to share uh, your insights about things. Because here's somebody who, despite the reality of things, that's something someone should have figured out by the time they were four or five or six years old, still hadn't figured out. And that's kind of what we face with other men. And it's really, you know, I don't feel it's my job to explain to a grown man that there's no Santa Claus. Now, on that note, the only thing that could be more pathetic than a grown man who still believed in Santa Claus is a grown man who has found out 
say when he was five, six years old, his older brother told him, he figured it out, a kid at school, that there was no Santa Claus. And here he is 20, 30, 40 years later, and he's still angry about the fact that there ain't no Santa Claus. That, to me, is the, a sadder scenario. To be angry about finding out the truth and clinging to that frickin' anger for the next X number of years in your life. So here's a point I want to make. If right now you're kind of inter getting introduced to the manosphere, some red pill rage, some anger is to be expected. After a certain amount of time, you got to let that anger go. You got to release the rage because it ain't nobody's fault that you still believed in a Santa Claus or a unicorn or any of that other stuff. So you got to let it go. If you're angry, if you're realizing that you've been duped, if you're realizing that the dogma isn't true and you're still angry about it, that means you're still holding on to the illusion of the dogma of men's and women's relationships. Fellas, ain't no Santa Claus. One of the issues that come with taking the red pill. And there'll probably be more. This is just happen be hap I'll try to spit it out now. This happens to be the one that I thought of today. Life is hard. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. Keep it real.